Ladies and gentlemen, it seems to be about to begin. Battle close the sign-up list and he's starting with his starting speech. So let's get to it. So, let's get this meeting started. I hope you enjoyed this one, as so you enjoy all of them. And I should really make quickly a clap again, if I don't have it here. I do, good. Welcome to the 126th meeting, ever in Stormwind and now also in Dalaran. Poetry Appreciation Society. As always, I will open the meeting by reciting a poem, this time one of my own original ones, and then other contributors will take turn according to the sign-up list. <coughs> Pardon the cough. There are people who didn't get to sign up, and there is time left, those might take turn after the list is done. As always, the meeting will conclude with a small firework display. On the note, there are some uh, all-time favorites. favorites such as uh, Ravenclaw, Rostain, uh, Lemon, what was it, some, Lemont, Lemont, not Lemon, <laughs> pardon. So, the first poem of this meeting will be a Winterbale themed one that I wrote last year. Ah, perfect, so I'm not the only one who wrote one about Wintervale. <laughs> titled A Winterwell's Blessing. <laughs> A Winterwell's Blessing. Snowfall, snow fights, jingle bells. Great grandfather's under a spell. Pine trees clad in shining garbs. Bart and Balkers playing harps. Pinderwell in Titan Halls. Pinderwell in merchant stalls. Joyous bliss to small and tall. Celebration, festive balls. Mm. Heed the call of winter's coming. Great grandfathers, mighty summon. Little helpers. Making sure Splendor shines on the rich and poor Present shared throughout the land On the titan's kind command
More than plenty. He will be sending. Reindeer in his stable pending. Medicine flies across the sky. With grandfather's sled up high. Making sure that no one miss. Getting their most inner wish. I see we getting cat girls now. <laughs> Winterwell fulfills each promise. Great grandfather's generous province. Praise the winter titan's feast. None left hungry, sad or meek. Titan's blessings are received. Winter well peace is achieved. Merry, merry be the season. Don't, don't miss out for any reason. Year's gear turn to final spoke. From the corner, next one pokes. Made store a blessing wonder. Like the tree, it stores down under. Happy Merry Winter's Vale. Merry Happy New Year's Deal. <laughs> Fascinating once again. Thank you very much, Bertolt, for the contribution. Yeah! <laughs> Turns out the first poet on the list is Alex Ravenclaw Medici. An old time favorite. <laughs> Welcome to the show once again, my friend. Did I not press the button? I'm pretty sure I pressed the button. No, I did not. Sorry. I'm sorry about it. <laughs> this poem is by Sir Jack Skinner. And inspired by a dear guildmate, Orion Quest. It is entitled The Hunt for the, for the Winter Vale. Every year the closing, the well, can be seen. On the ground snow is glistening, on the treetops so green. Every year we pursue it, on the sea, air and ground. Every year comes its herald, red and white, or clad and around. We make food for our offering, traps in tinsel 
so bright. On the surface of greenery, we place candles for the light. Gifts wrapped in paper to distract its prey. Full of frolics and laughter, keep spirit high and gay. What? Very well then. <laughs> On the front lines we build missiles and guardians of snow. We practice our battles so we are ready to go. With weapons held high, clad in armor so bright. We send forth our champions in pursuit, in pursuit, in pursuit of his height. Honestly, this sounds like. <laughs> He kind of derailed, derailed into another poem. This pedal, this bell is personal. He makes it his goal. The great winter whale is most elusive. Oh. For his act is a folly, he is a mad as a brush. For this monstrous foe is just winter well to us. Freaking hell. Didn't expect to get the IFK. Is that it? I have no heart to tell him how foolish he may be. I knew it was not over. Ha 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 ha. 200 IQ. In pursuit of this whale, he seems happy to me. Now it's the end. Wonderful, lovely, joyful, and a unique twist, I, I'm gonna say. Oh my fucking god, that's genius! Next up, another favorite, Alicia is once again back. Let's hope she is a little bit less like the owner of the golden cake in Guild, which we have. Heard uh, here a lot. Um, can't recall right now the name. <laughs> oh well, matters not. Zach. So, I will be honest, I did not write anything. Today is an important day for me, so I thought I would just speak as it comes. Oh, an improv one. Alright, alright. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a wonderful display. Oh, now he's sitting good. <laughs> oh. 
Two years, it's been such a long time, from reading poems to serving wine. Some may know me, others no clue. For the past two years, I was serving folk stew. I worked the cake, though no longer true. I will be common folk, like the rest of you. Barmaid or not, it's been a trip. From drunkard to morons, you wish soon would slip. <laughs> To rumble here, it's a part of a show. When I needed to learn, I needed to know. That's a good job for a parmate. It's hard to move on to deal with it all, but it would be better not to think as a dog with its ball. So sorry to pause, I have nothing down. So thank you all, giving me a home in this town. <laughs> Wonderful, I could improv. Oh shit, it's already my death time. Next up is Rostain. <sighs> I fear for my life already. <laughs> and here I am, ready to torment you all with poetry. <laughs> you son of a... You know you were tormenting all of me with that.
Mm -hmm. Sounds like me. <laughs> them now and all day long. In their heart a voice, a song, pure potency and sacred wisdom, mad laughing and promise of doom. Doom! Money! Money! Bring me money, order is spoken, and none disobey. Although not keen, gold gathers and measly piled, so big even gully makes gets reeled. Shiny, shiny! Throws them now and all day long. Rezan frowns, Uzala scoffs. Skull? They would bash him like a gong. But he's crafty. Hides among foul. Shani. Shani. He throws the law all day long. He throws the law all day long. Tiny, whiny, bring me gold, rich man. Johnny. <laughs> now I get it. Good one. And I didn't die even once. This time. <laughs> Next up, Wild Lemon. I'm out of range. From now on, lemon. Cuss. Funny. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, in the past, I have picked up on topics like passion, desire, loss, and grief, joyful occasions, and lately, what it takes to grow good timber. <sighs> hey, mackering shit is my thing. Tonight, however, I would like to speak about something rather grim about war and what it means. I have named this piece. Guardians. Uh oh, uh oh. There is more to this story than what it appears. A war written tale from blood and from tears. But there are monsters outside. And they are waiting. With the vultures in line salivating. There is a boy with a little cart lion in hand. Hmm. He is sad and confused for he doesn't understand. There is a little girl crying and screaming, running toward. A mother who once more has taken up her sharpened sword. Our bodies bruised and broken on the fields of sorrow. We remember our past and we think of tomorrow. When despair and pain choke up like a bloody rope. There is the soldier's second breath 
the flame in the door collapsed called hope. With us in between evil and all that we love. The tables have turned and push has come to shove. Our spirits cannot wane and our courage can't be gone. For we will always get on our feet and rise against the dawn. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, we can be whole. And I thank whatever gods may be for our unconquerable soul. <coughs> Jailer. <coughs> In the hell clutch of circumstance, we have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the, under the plunge, plunge, going, plunging, of chance or heads are bloody but unbowed. For the only way we know how to live is the, is by the blade. And yet the menace of the years shall find us. Unafraid. So come and hold your head high and proud, my friend. As we go to make our last final stand. Good one. But truly grim. So I think it is time to recite this poem Alex sent me, not by him though. Someone named Orion Quest. Another one, okay. Two from Orion, nice nice nice. It should suffice. <laughs> this titled Song of the All Brother. Oi, oi, oi. Today, let's be brothers. Tonight, let's be friends. The veil falls. Upon us. Let us sing and unite. As snow falls from the heavens. As crimson turns white. Every man, every mind thinks of home. And why we still fight. This day we are brothers. This night we are friends. For a moment of peace. In war with no end. We will drink and we will sing. From the nightmare we will wake. As violence lies to rest. Beneath the gentle snowflakes. We have hated for so long. And fought with all our might. No one is left alive. Who remembers who was right? 
the whale among the front lines. We think about our friends. Of the family we must bury. As the violence, violence doesn't end. A respite on the front lines. We sing into the night. We don't think about tomorrow. We all, when we all must fight. Our comrades lie so silent. Our friends now lie alone. We think of all our brothers who cannot return home. The sun rises on the plains. The good veil meets its end. We all pray to see tomorrow. Now the battle does commence. <laughs> A good one again, Berlo and Orion. Very much appreciated. Next up, Hearty Lester. Then not so much molester. <laughs> I'm not really great with words, but I gave it a try anyway. I'm not big with words, but I just write articles for the blind uh, uh, or who are the big um, newspaper in a uh, storm wind, yeah. <laughs> Is the tempting gifts are tantalizing about opening them we are far fantasizing the holiday foods are appetizing our excitement and joy are growing and rising our hearts and minds are harmonizing winter well fun we're maximizing oh we are not where <laughs> pardon that <laughs> Short, sweet and nice. Thank you very much, Hearty. <laughs> Just... Oh, tears! Oh! Oh! Okay! Next up, Eritus Moonlands. I believe we had him already twice in a row lately. So I'm guessing he is one of our favorites, but in another character. Hmm. Who could it be? Perhaps the one and only missing one. What's his name again? <laughs> no matter. Should go on. Show must go on, stay soon. Good evening everyone, a lovely quarter night. Tonight, so far, my poem will continue in the spirit of Winter Vale. Perfect. I'm not gonna be a sore eye this time. As I find myself standing here, 
I'm honored to participate in this night of poetry and many winter veil pre preparations and also glad to not be entering a state of fret. And to begin with, I ask you all to show me some lovely smiles, for the world isn't ending just yet. Give us all your finest smile, including teeth. <laughs> Not me. We are, for we are coming up to a time of joy and love, giving and receiving. Sure, 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 sure. Of setting up lovely decorations, including the brief. Uh, what the heck is a reef? Winter well is coming up, so it's time for us to all, for us all to remember to look back at how things have gone this year. And also to sit down with our loved ones and share lovely chats over a, over a drink. My preferred one being a nice beer. <laughs> in, the in the magnificent city of Ironforge, there stands a, a tall and luscious tree, with under its lots of, of wrapped presents for everyone to see. Okay, that's a little bit difficult to talk about, eh? So let us embrace our own in the great father, winter, and give presents to those close to our heart, for love and kindness are truly the most eternal forms of art. May it be merry winter well for all of you, lovelies, and a happy new year. You shall let all face it with the white grins on our face. You hear? You're here. <laughs> ah. I don't think that was a poem, but still. Good job. Good job that it is. <laughs> And I'm the last on the list. I thank you very much for the warm welcome. Ow, 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 ow. That's my ear, thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, let's start this then. Soon it will be winter well. Everything is already on sale. From relatives you receive merry mail, gifts under the tree never fail, land covered in the widest snow, you can create out of ice a frosty crown. Everywhere the smell of gingerbread, the smell like a young woman, nicely spread, a time when everyone calls a truce, for a nice decorated tree we call spruce, enjoy the festivities and have a nice holiday. And drink some of that delicious winter well ale. I'm not really a pro <laughs> prolonged one. <laughs> I hate taking too long for things. <laughs> I prefer to make them fast. be a show without Didi giving us the last grand finale. Please give a warm welcome for Didi, Digger's Fuse and Bellomi, her beloved pet. <laughs>
a yell can be heard before the first fist strikes. A wet sound emanates from the point of impact. Impact. Yikes! A happy girl follows along with a cloud of dust thrown at the foe. It seems at first like an act of violence towards the poor lump of dough. The mass through our lignette is adorned with salt to make it make it delicious for all to behold. Stretching it thin to put on the forms to create a diverse array of shapes, be it in that of a pine tree, a happy chubby a happy chubby man, or that of some apes, humming while stamping out the cookies for the upcoming festivities to appease the great, great father's great father and offer him a treat during his gift laden visits. A gift to the one that offers all his kindness and jolly cheer. In times in these times of year filled with cookies, gifts and sometimes appear to help the jaunty old man sustain his heartfelt shop. The little gnome needs to bake cookies to offer him some grub. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> but I butchered it properly. I'm sorry for that. Well, then that concludes this month's poetry meeting then. This time for the traditional firework. Which I will this time record. <laughs> There will be a small firework display in a moment. And I must say, this year was really something regarding the poems. There was a time when it was really low amounts of threats due to, obviously, um, the lawsuit, I would say. I thought it would be at first just the fact that it was summer. But um, it really felt like it was more than the summer at the end. Next meeting will be January the 14th in Dolaron, a Friday as always. Um, it has, I would say it really hit hard for the poetry meetings. But also it brought new faces in, new characters, a whole bunch of Pandarans. We know that. Uh, some of the old favorites stayed, of course. And yeah, wish you a Merry Christmas, people, and a Happy New Year. I will hopefully make some videos um, during this month as well, so you might hear it uh, quite often. But in the end, stay awesome because that is what you truly are, and enjoy the small fire vortex that will fix up for now. <laughs> <laughs>